welcome. I don't know why, but my camera is now really out of focus and everything every time I have you there. So I'm just keeping an eye on But hello, welcome back to another video. I have turned my light down. Wow, well, that's really dark. <laughs> I'm going to turn it down a little bit more to try and make it less blurry because I think the brightness is doing it. Because I was doing it really bad when the sun was out the last couple of days. Go here. But can't do much about it anymore because it goes too dark. I've turned my light down a little bit so it's not too bright and it seems to be doing okay. Anyway, welcome to a new video. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amelia. Don't know why I'm talking so fast. I feel like I'm still rehearsing for my presentation. Uh, welcome, my name is Amelia, I'm a uni student, if you don't, um, don't know I study digital marketing um, at the University of Portsmouth in my masters and before we get into this video if you could give it a thumbs up, if you could comment down below, if you could subscribe, if you could follow my social medias in the description that would be absolutely great. I am really growing on my, working on my Instagram at the moment um, so I would really appreciate the follows on there and the interactions and the engagement big words coming from me, that's what I studied. Um, and let's just get on with this video because I just moaned for like two minutes and I'm sorry. So for this video I have chosen just to do a really quick and easy one. Not much work behind this, not much thought behind this, not much like things written. I've literally written a list and that is it for this video. So I have chosen to do places in the world I want to visit. Also if you can hear that noise it's the boiler, that's what I forgot to mention. Um, I have written a list and now it stops. Places I want to visit in the world. And it is not a full list. I have a longer list than this. I've just done the ones that come straight to my mind. And maybe I'll do a part two of this in the future. I have got another one I'm going to do that's slightly like this. It's places I want to visit in New York. And I'll explain that when it gets to this section. Um, as I've mentioned in a couple more videos. But I just that takes a lot more thought and research. Because I need to figure out places, you know. Anyway, let's just get on. The first place I have on my list is Italy. I have been wanting to visit Italy, I think, for years now. I didn't have the travel bug when I left college or school because I just didn't have the money to travel. So for me, the idea of travelling wasn't big on my mind. Um, what was on my mind was just trying to get a job. So, But I have been wanting to visit Italy for like ages. It's been a place on my mind for quite a few years I watched Walking on Sunshine and ever since then I was like I want to go to Italy I know it's not like movies um everything it's just movies make things look better but I do really want to go so that's on my list my next one is south of France very basic and probably very most what most like people do they usually go when they're 18 it's like, and a lot of people people go so if you're in Chinsi or Lydia I think went in summer when things were slightly open last summer um and I didn't watch any of the vlogs because I should have, should have done, but I didn't. But like, it just seemed nice by the Instagram pictures. I just really want to visit it. To be fair, I want to visit loads of places that you probably think are basic. Another one is Amsterdam. You know, the typical place. Not for the typical reasons, I just want to go. Um, me and my friends from um, uni are like, well, thinking of going for like a weekend or something. When we can, originally it was going to be like last summer, we were literally going to go on holiday, we meant to go to Amsterdam, we meant to go to Cardiff. Obviously Covid got in the way and that didn't happen. The next one is something so basic and something I could just easily, well not easily do, but if I just got in a car and drove up there, or got someone to drive up there I could get there, is Scotland. Really want to visit Scotland for some reason. Just think it would be a good place to go. And experience, I am really aware that this is probably blurry and I'm really annoyed. Anyway, um, another place is Wales. Um, Again, a very easy place to get to in some ways. If you live in the UK, it's not easy because you still have to travel, but you can get there. Like I have a friend, from my, a friend from my first year. He lives, his hometown is Wales, and he comes to Uni of Portsmouth. So you know, I can easily if I got on a train, I could probably sit there for like for good. I don't know how many hours on a train just to get there, but like, it'll take a while, but to get there. And another one is Ireland. I just thought I just really want. I just want to explore the whole of like the United Kingdom. And all that lot, you know, those places. Now we're moving on to the more fun places. I really want to go to LA. Um, typical girl who used to want to be an actress, dream place to go. I used to want to be an actress and singer. I did not follow through with that because I realised that my confidence levels were shit. My the language, but they were really bad and I wouldn't be able to get on a stage and perform or even in front of a camera and perform in front of someone. And 
I don't think that's actually what I want to do anymore. I used to. Like, I used to be so adamant. I used to believe that I was going to make it. And I'm sure if I put myself through it, I could have done it. But I decided that it's probably something I'd rather keep as a hobby than something I'd make as a career choice. Um, another place I want to go to, and I know I'm going to, so um, but I still put it in this list because I haven't been yet, so, is New York. I, It's the biggest dream of my life. It's been a dream since I was... I'm going to say it was when I was 15, I watched the Glee episode when they went to New York for Nationals and I was like, and I, you don't see much of New York there, but I was like, yes, I want to go there and I haven't, and then I started watching Sex and the City and I got even more obsessed with the city and I was like, yes, I want to go there and it's been on my list for like years now, for like 10 years and I'm just like buzzing to go in May 2020, May 2022, why can't I speak? I literally think I've spoken too much today. I had a two-hour group meeting today as well, which was long. And then next one I want to go to, just because I feel like it'd be an interesting one, is Vancouver. I put Vancouver slash Canada, but both would be great. Just would be an interesting place to see. Something different, you know. Another one, and this is where all the love, all the I Love Islanders are at the moment. Well, not all of them, but some of them are. Whilst we're stuck in lockdown, and you know they went after, they went before Christmas, and they went back after Christmas because you know you can do that, and they're getting a lot of hate for it. I don't really care for the hate. Don't really care for any of the shit they're going through. I don't really care what they're doing. If that's what they want to do with their life, they can do it. They wouldn't. But I'm just a different question. Um, I want to go to Dubai. Like obviously, I going back to the thing. I do care that they're break, like the whole of the COVID nineteen. But it's their life. If they want to break the rules and they want to get into trouble and they want to do all this, then that is their choice. I, people, like just think about what you're doing and not what other people are doing. It's more important anyway. I really want to visit Dubai. Just by looking at the pictures, they look beautiful, and I just really want to be there. Like I just want to get away there. It'd be nice. If I had the brains, I'd just gone when everyone else was going, wouldn't I? No, I'm kidding. I do follow the rules. My next place I want to visit. And I got this from when I was watching Anastasia's vlogs when she went there, is Bali. I think it would be a really, really interesting place to visit. It seems like a really cool place and a nice place to go. And it would just be a, I think it would be a nice, like, break. I would love to do it for maybe a birthday, like, maybe my 30th birthday, um, go to Bali. It would be a nice birthday present. Like, my, 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 my birthday is in, like, winter, so it would be nice to get away somewhere. I don't actually know what the weather's like in there at this point of the year, but it would be nice to get away there. Another one is a big dream of mine, and this is, again, this dream only came from watching Molly or Beauty Spectrum's vlogs last year when she went there, but it is Australia. I just wanted to go, want to go there so bad, like, I'm so scared of spiders, and I know they have these big spiders there, but that doesn't put me off. I just want to go to Australia, I want to experience places like Sydney and Melbourne, Melbourne and all those places, you know, the two places I know, Sydney and Melbourne, even though I know other places, but I want to, like, experience things i want to see see things and all this lot next one is mexico not really sure why just want to go to mexico because it seems cool i have a reason behind that one but i just want to again the other one i don't really have i don't have much behind but i did have a neighbor from there but it's the philippines i'm aware philippines have a lot of um i know a lot of people from the philippines and i just feel like it'd be really cool Really nice place to visit, just to see kind of where they're from. I have another one that's not on here, and I'm going to say it now before I forget, and that is Kenya. So shout out to Simran if you're watching this, you've got a shout out here. My best friends from uni, Simran and Annika, are from Kenya, and I just really want to see where they're from. Like, I just want to, you know, it's more fun when you see know people where people are from, and you want to see where they're from, what they grew up with, and like what they've got around them compared to what we have. So it'd be just really nice to see like my friend's house and my friend's like you know area um next one is thailand don't again don't really have a reason behind it just think it'd be a cool place to go so yeah would really love to go there um i just should have put spain and portugal on my list because i've never been there classic place to go but never been there the only places i've actually been might as well pinpoint here is bulgaria florida which again florida was the what would have been on this list if i hadn't been because i love the look of it so i went florida and miami and that same why didn't we go to miami on a trip like we drove there for like a day and then drove back it was the longest day of my life but it was great we went to orlando as well which was nice i think that's all the same area do you know what i don't know much but i've been to florida um to visit family for two weeks back in 2013 2012 2012 and it was the best two weeks of my life. And I was so close to saying no to my nan who invited me to go. 
because I was scared to be away from my parents on a holiday for two weeks. And it wasn't like I was just on holiday in Eastbourne like I used to be. I was on holiday in America, which is obviously so far away. So I was really scared about being away. And I was away from Mother's Day, which was hard because I always used to do Mother's Day with my mum. I used to go to church, get the flower we used to get. It was so cute. But it was a great two weeks. Um, I've also been to, I've been to France and I've been to Disneyland Paris. And that's it. I haven't really gone to many countries. I've been to Bulgaria twice. I went to somewhere in France in the school in year eight. I don't really remember where we went because it was just really not that memorable to me. And then we went to Disneyland. I didn't went to Disneyland Paris with guy with my guides for like a weekend, which was really fun. So yeah, I haven't really gone that many places because I haven't. And that's why I travel because I when I grew up, holiday, my parents didn't have the money to take me on holiday. So when they did take me on holiday, we went to Bulgaria because we went with my auntie and uncle and my best friend and don't get me wrong it was they were great holidays i loved it but obviously my parents couldn't afford much they did, that was the only time i only went when i was 10 and when i was 15 i think i was 10 had to have been 10 don't think it was been when i was yeah because i remember doing something about it in school yeah so it was when i was 10 and when i was 15 and it was a. Uh, it was um they were fun holidays but that was the only holiday that I got with my parents and so when I when I got old enough to technically say I could go on holiday, I kept saying I wanted to but I don't think deep down I really had that mindset of wanting to travel because I didn't really want to leave. I, I, before I went to uni I didn't want to be away from my parents so that was it. And now I do want to travel but everyone has their own time so I'm hoping to get the chance to, to either go travelling at some point after uni even if um, my dad will be able to because money is a thing. Um, but like maybe some point in the future, like maybe get work and um, money, then decide, okay, I'm going to leave now and travel. Or have a job that I can work remotely so I could travel and work at the same time. Like, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, that is the end of this video. It's been a short and sweet one and I'm really happy with that. But if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below. Please subscribe and also please follow my social medias. That should have popped up somewhere in the video and it will also in the description below. And I will see you again next week with another video.